you know, sometimes you have swimmers that really uh, show up for competition. So maybe I always tell my swimmers, ah, you're right, busted. You know, maybe I work with them in practice. I'm like, okay, here's their potential. Here's where they are. Then we get to a competition and I'm like, whoa, who is that? And how are you so much better to me? We got to start working harder in practice. So it sounds like Luke is also putting the work in at practice. Yeah, for sure, for sure. He's not a sandbag swimmer in practice. After that, this is heat number one of the 1518 girls I am. Maribella Swanson for the Country Club is in three. Kaylee Johnson for James Island in four. Paige Woods for Fort Johnson in five. In six is Audrey Campbell from Somerville, Hawaii. And in seven is Katie Livingston for Ashboro. So meet record here, we mentioned this family earlier, still held by Micah Bohan from 2014, 58.96. Micah went on to swim at the University of Tennessee and had a great career swimming did. NCAAs. Did she achieve All-American honors or all she definitely made it back at NCAAs once. So that's all American honors. At least honorable mention. I'm trying to remember. I should know I was at those NCAA meets. So in remember. that, not to jump ahead she too much, but career. in that final heat, we have those free sisters, Avery and Sophie with their underwater work, and the Shaw sisters from Hall Call. That'll be fun to watch that duo of those it's sisters. The family, family affair. It's those four swimmers in the middle. As the win here goes to Audrey Campbell in 120.16. Second was Kaylee Johnston and Katie Livingston, excuse me, and Paige Woods was third. Looking at this replay, Somerville Y on the finish. Here she comes, keeping her head down. One last breath before she gets into the wall. He too. Katie Heimerdinger from Ashboro is in one. Olivia Bur Bur Burningham from Cane Bay is in two. Allison Carter for Crowfield in three. Caitlin Towell from Shamalon is in four. Helen Hamilton for Newington in five. Isabel Joukowsky for L Legend Oaks in six. Riley Hinton from Long Point in seven. Emma Christie for Legend Oaks is in eight. In lane nine is Kyla O'Keefe from the Somerville Lion. And in ten is Emma Hinkle from Cane Bay. We got one bucket turn from our Newington swimmer out front. Newington's having a great day as well. I was surprised to hear they were in the uh, the middle league. So any chance of them moving up to the top league for next summer, David? Let me check the latest scores. I think you're going to want to, I think the top six teams will move up. It seems like a battle for sixth right now. Well, Shadow Moss is still in sixth place, then Hobka, then Newington. So those okay. teams are all really close for sixth, seventh, and eighth, which is about what you would expect. From those teams, we come in on the freestyle. Helen Hamilton leading the way there for Newington. <laughs> and they come into the wall here, a time of 108.53. Very quick time there for Helen Hamilton. Isabel Jetkowski second in 109.97. Got a little bit of the giggles here as we watch our 15, 18 year old men walk by holding hands up to the block. Watching this finish, great kick coming in. Great job on that Newington swimmer to win heat two. Heat three now. Ben Duchesne from Long Point is in one. Skylar Jones for James Island is in two. Lizzie Sosa for Crowfield is in three. Mallory Kowalski for Daniel Island in four. Lily Burnett for Northbridge is in five. In lane six is Cassidy Lima for Newington. We wonder who's going to win this heat. Cassidy probably should be in that last heat, just didn't have a faster time. Kate Green for North Charleston in seven. Kate Kowalski for Daniel Island in eight. Claire Porter for Shadow Moss in nine. And Maria Atwood from Northbridge is in ten. Well, we know Cassidy's strong on backstroke and freestyle. We saw her earlier, but I'm not sure about her breaststroke, David. So we'll have to see how it shakes out here on lap number three for Cassidy Lima, our 50 freestyle winner. We were talking about pairs of sisters. I found another in the final heat, and we got one here with the Kowalski sisters. Kate yes. No. <laughs> they also have younger sister Lila Kowalski. That's fun. Nice. So turning for home, it is Kate Green up there with Cassidy Lima, Lily Burnett, and also Lizzie Sosa. So it's really tight with those four swimmers right now. Pushing for the finish. It is Cassidy Lima taking the win in 104 flat. Lily Burnett is second in 104.93. And Kate Green third in 105.07.
So if you're watching at home, make sure you tune in to this underwater work on Avery and Sophie Fries coming up. Here comes Cassie Lima on her finish. She won the freestyle. She knew probably going into that last leg, if she was even with the rest of the heat, she would be able to pull away. Final heat, Maddie Hood for the Country Club is in one. Courtney Tedesco for Shadow Moss in two. Cecilia Ford for Park Shore in three. Avery Fries for Snee Farm in four. Gil Shaw for Hobcon five, Sophie Fries for Sneef Arm in six, Adair Shaw for Hobcon in seven, Lindsay Burbage from Shamalon in eight, Madeline Ruthier for North Charleston in nine, and Eliza Ford for Park Shore in ten. So another that's three pairs of sisters in this with the two yeah. Fords. <laughs> I forgot about the Fords. The wow. The two the two Fords, the two Freeses, and the two Shaws, and because this is such a big age group, no, none of them are twins. Eliza, Sophie, and Gil are all seniors. Leading the way, by the way, was Sophie at the halfway point. Gail we'll Shaw see. next to her, our 50 Breast Show champion, coming up on Sophie. Will she have enough to take it on freestyle? I don't know. They're both very Ooh. strong at the end. This is going to be close between Sophie and Gill, our two 18-year-olds, our two seniors. Both going to swim division one. They're sisters on either side. Sophie Fries for Snee Farm trying to hold off Gil Shaw. Can she do it at the end? It will be Sophie by three hundredths. One double oh oh four Gill at one double oh oh seven. Avery was third in one double oh sixty six. Look at how close that race is, David. That's cool. That's really cool. Third, by the way, was so Avery, Sophie and, Fries, and, and Adair was fourth. Sophie Fries taking first, very close behind her by three one hundredths. Gil Shaw, third place, little sister Avery Fries, fourth place, little sister Adair Shaw. So Adair and Avery are going at it next summer in the same event. Oh yeah, absolutely. Is anyone? I'm trying to think if there's anyone moving up. Not that can catch them. So yeah, we we pretty much. Uh, and we can imagine Snee Farm will replace Sophie with Ann Thompson next summer, so it doesn't get any easier. Yeah, I forgot about Ann Thompson. It's amazing that some of these teams are so strong and so That so even much a depth. swimmer like Ann, who has junior nationals cuts, doesn't swim the IM because you have Sophie and Avery. It's impressive. 15, 18 boys. Reese Early for James Island is in two, at three. Joseph Duran for Fort Johnson in four. Ethan Van Etten from Somerville Y in five. Dylan Moffat for Shadow Moss in six. And Gavin Rogers from Cane Bay in seven. The relays are a little fast and furious here, so while we have a minute, Tara, I want to make sure we credit our entire uh, production team. There, this is obviously a big group effort here to get the job done to produce this stream of the city meet. And we've got to credit everyone from both WCBD News 2 here in Charleston and also WSAV in Savannah, the sister station, who brought a lot of this equipment and crew to produce this. As winning this heat is Joseph Durand at 110.51. Second was Ethan Van Etten at 115.75. Dylan Moffat taking third. Heat two. In lane one is Rory Condon from Fort Johnson. Two is Peter Ahrens from Somerville Y. Three is Matt Canavero for Ashboro. Four is Mark McGee for Legend Oaks. Five is James McKenna for James Island. Six is Mason Scott from Shamalon. Seven is Turner Long for Park Shore. Eight is Aiden Peterson for Ashboro. Nine is Eric Benjon for Daniel Island. And 10 is Cody Reeve from Shadowmoss. So our crew from WSAV, Dan Flexer, Flexer, director, Jerry Perlman, production manager, Tim O'Connor on replay, and the WCBD crew, Mike Welline, Chuck Groom, Jane, Jake McCann, Katrina McCallahan, Joseph Landing, Mark Gallagher, Tony Bell, Tony War, and Ward and Harley O'Neill, and of course, Mike Austin, our producer. He's been the brains behind this since we began on day one in 2014, and he's still putting this together. It's gotten better every year, and we really appreciate all of the support from Channel 2. I know the league appreciates us being able to have this live stream as Mark, uh, Matt Canavero wins it in 101.69. Your second place swimmer was Mason Scott at 103.40. Here we go on the replay coming down with the finish. Again, a lot of these times, if there's not a tight race in your heat, you're still going all out. Better your time, better your overall ranking to score points for your team. Second to last heat now. I didn't even get the times in that heat. In lane one is Drew Thomas from the Country Club. In two is Henry Lewis for Park Shore. In three is Asher Huggins for Snee Farm. Four is Logan Southern from Legend Oaks. Five is Carson Owens from Newington. 
Six is Gray Gladwell from Shamalon. Seven is Brady Newton from Northbridge. Eight is Ben Atwood from Northbridge. Nine is Joe McBride from Crowfield. And in 10, that's Dylan Barrett for Crowfield. Now tell me, Carson Owens, I mean, big swimming name, great swimmer. He's in lane five, so is he a true spinner? Is this a considered more of a distance event for him? And I'm not being no, sarcastic. Carson just didn't have a fast entry okay. time, I guess. <laughs> no, Carson's a really good swimmer. Everyone knows Carson's a really good swimmer. So just in a slower heat. Okay, so again, I just mentioned it. He's going to have to race the clock here. There's no one around to help push him. Carson Owens will come into the wall and set the time to beat a 56.25. Really close here for second. It is going to go to Asher Huggins in 10038. Third was Greg Gladwell in 10061. And that'll be big for Snee Farm as every point counts. Asher Huggins moving up in the rankings, dropping about a second. All right, so we have the final heat. Jack Jonas for Newington in one. Justin Hafner from Daniel Island in two. Jack Abrams from Hobcon in three. Matthew Picard from okay, Long Point in four. 14, Kyle Herbig for Snee Farm in five. Charlie Green Steve from North Charleston in six. In seven is Stephen Russell for Long Point. Eight, Danny Zlata for North Charleston. Nine is Colby Schleyer for Hobcon. Ten is Andrew Winterfield from the Country Club. Charlie with wins in Butterfly and Backstroke so far today. Kyle won freestyle and Danny won breaststroke. Charlie now pulling slightly ahead there. The meet record held by our old friend Nick Wukovitz at 52.46. Charlie is just ahead of Kyle as we come into the free. Can Charlie Green hold off Kyle Hurtwig here? Tight for third. It is going to be Charlie Green in 53.62 to get the win here. Beats out his brother's time in the previous event. Second there was Kyle Hurtwig at 53.92. And third in lane number four was Matthew Picard. Look at that finish, Tara. Charlie is so tall, so, so long. So long, and then his stroke looks so relaxed. He does, always looks relaxed. We'll be right back. We'll finish this off with the freestyle relays at the City Meet when we come back to North Charleston. <laughs> 